Geeks. Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. And today I'm going to show you how to use Display Driver Uninstaller. This will completely remove all the folders, files, registry entries. So if you need to take all your drivers off your system for your video card, for example, maybe you were told to completely uninstall your drivers and reinstall them, this would be a better way. Or if you were going to install a new video card. So you double click the program to start it. And it's a very well thought out program. This is kind of neat. It reminds you you really want to be in safe mode. So you can choose one of the safe mode options, recommended or networking, it does not matter. And then let the system reboot and come back. However, since we're just playing around in here to show you, um, we're going to skip that step and try and get the program going here. It doesn't like to be ignored. So give me a second here. There we go. So there's your main screen. As you can see, you have your logs, uh, all sorts of options here. Pick your video card, NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel. And before you go on, hit your options over here. Uh, if you have NVIDIA, for example, you could probably remove everything. It's pretty well checked by default. The only thing that wasn't checked in this case, the NVIDIA drivers folder, that would be a folder that's on your C drive that drivers are downloaded to, so you don't need to get rid of that. Um, the same with AMD, you can remove the audio if you want, in case you're going for the whole shebang. And again, the same AMD drivers is the same as the NVIDIA drivers here and here. Finally, you can save a log file. Most importantly, by default, create a system restore point because you really, really want to. Um, remove your monitors if you're changing your monitor. Again, if you're not, maybe leave it alone. But since it says recommended, I'd probably do it. And that's probably the majority of what you need to worry about inside of here. So then you're just going to come back to here and make your choices. Now, you can clean and restart. Always recommend it because the complete removal does not end until you've completely restarted. Clean and do not restart if you're an advanced user and have something you want to play around with when you're finished. And clean and shut down, which is absolutely perfect if you are got your brand new shiny video card sitting here in a box. You want to get everything out of there, shut it down. When the computer shuts down, you put your new video card in. And finally, you can set the Windows Automatic Driver installation to default. That might be handy if you're doing some work and you want to just make sure you at least got a, a functioning driver. It's not the best driver, but at least it's a Windows default driver. And really, that's about it. It's a very, very simple to use, understand, and well thought out program to get the job done. It is totally free. There were no pups or anything in it. So... The download link, as always, will be in the description. I hope you'll subscribe. I thank you for watching, and I hope we see you next time.